get the little clicker thing set up? Sure. Hi everyone, I'm Brent Gaynor. I'm the founder of Momedic, a uh, bootstrap startup focused on the fintech space. <clears throat> um, I built Momo to help provide the fastest way for, for you to discover and act upon investment opportunities. Uh, I'm an active investor slash trader. I always am interested in the stock market and I built Momo simply for my, to solve my personal frustration of uh, always trying to find and track stocks and learning about them days later, hours later, and finding out that they've popped up 30, 40, 50 percent. And uh, had I known about it, I probably would have invested in it or traded it or whatever you want to say, bought some stock or options. Um, and I feel many of you are in the same boat. If you're doing your startup, actively working or what have you, you always feel like you'd like to be invested in certain opportunities and uh, just always missing on these breakouts, too busy or buying at the top or at the wrong time. Uh, Momo is trying to provide a real-time framework for which you can find these opportunities and discover them and get in on them sooner than you would find them on CNBC, Market Alert, or Market Watch, Yahoo News, or what, what, whatever app that uh, deems it deems that. Uh, actual stock noteworthy or of interest to the masses. Um, when you look at the current trading environment, most of you guys probably have E-Trade, Schwab, Robinhood, what have you, on your, as an app and as a trading thing, and you're like, well, you know, what, why Momo? What does that mean? Um, <clears throat> what Momo does is kind of looks at the top of the funnel. We're providing the opportunities, and E-Trade, Schwab, and those guys are really dedicated and focused in on looking at how to maximize commissions and really churning your watch list that's probably 10 years old, has 10 or 12 stocks in it that you're looking at on a percentage basis and saying they aren't really moving. Uh, when in fact is if you're looking at a visceral stream of highs and lows, you're really seeing a really engaging way to look at opportunities, learn and discover stocks and, the, and get the pulse of the market. Um, Momo is built as a for dynamic active lifestyles and also feeding on greed and fear of missing out. Um, FOMO is actually a, a cl clinical turn I, I learned about uh, actually cr after creating fo uh, Momo and uh, <coughs> it, it works well. So as you can see uh, Momo is just really a, a app. It's based for real-time streaming and uh, consumption of the 6500 equities on a uh, higher high, lower low, lower basis. Uh, I've integrated iOS notifications, uh, crowdsourced stock twits integration, so you could quickly identify a moving equity and take action on it, filter out those sectors that you're not interested in, and uh, what's possibly most important is the extended hours integration. Uh, when you look at uh, the globalization of the world and the, how it's impacting the stock market, uh, it's really important to understand how China's impacting pre and post market hours or different events, uh, earnings and things of that nature where you're no longer by your desk and yet you would be very interested in learning about losing 50% of your investment. As we move forward, um, I'm looking at bridging the commission side of things, the trade execution along with Momo to give people a one-stop touch and trade execution ability. Um, also looking at summary views which would persist data on a way that you could look at top sectors and their performance and tying in additional exchanges globally whether it's uh, London, China uh, or even Canada. Um, Momo's been out since last September, been, was invited to Stocktoberfest which is a big event for fintech space uh, sponsored by Howard Lindzen. He, uh, also, he's the founder of Robinhood and StockTwits. Uh, he totally dug it and kind of helped give us some momentum. And uh, you know, we've we've hit the top grossing apps in the fintech on the finance side a couple times. And, uh, appreciate it. Um, and uh, so that was pretty exciting. Uh, it's a subscription-based service, monthly, quarterly, annually, and. Uh, <clears throat> It's worked out well in terms of that. Uh, it's 
was hard to do as to trying to get that model in. And for the developers out there, we're uh, made with uh, Node, Socket.io, Google Polymer, and uh, we're an a AWS Activate technology partner. That's it. Um, feel free to. He gotcha. <laughs> All right, All let right. me. Uh, well, thank you. This is the last Q&A, so let me get some uh, <clears throat> t-shirts out here. Here you go. Are you guys planning on handling 4X in the future? 4X? It's, it's been asked. Uh, it, it's on the fringe, possibly. Uh, ne more near term on that fringe would be uh, uh, bulletin board stocks over the counter. So um, you talked about a few of your stocks getting featured. Um, have you tested for accuracy on, say, the 100 notifications you gave around stocks as to how they fared in the first day, second day, or third day? Have they fluctuated, or was it a straight rise? And what kind of testing statistics have you run? Uh, the way that we're working, I am not trying to interpret the price action. I am largely parsing out higher highs and lower lows in a way that allows you to consume that those 6,500 stocks streaming through um, in a way that you could manage them. I'm not trying to manipulate them or make algorithmic decisions. That's something that's in consideration using different theories that uh, may be interpreted and then using some sort of back testing and, or something to prove out that. So I'm not a stock trader, but um, it's, it's quite beautiful. So I just want to say nice, nice work. Well, thank you. Um, actually, one of the reasons I've built it was uh, yeah, way back when I built something, and they said, I don't care what it does. I'm buying it because it looks so cool. Um, so, so I kind of tried to take that back with this. And I'm kind of a little bit of a UX, UI geek. So uh, thank you. Have you done any backtesting analysis of your signals? Number one, and I have a second after it. Um, it they, they aren't signals. They, what I am doing is, is if you took a, a, a spoon and stuck it in a stream of a fire hose and you peeled it up and we're getting that water shot up in your face, you're getting, you, that's what you're digesting. It's 100% accurate per what's bought and sold on the exchanges. But if, if somebody were to react to these signals and execute in a reasonable amount of time, have you done back testing if somebody would make money on the signals that you're generating? I, I have that in testimonials. I get emails that, yeah, I made 33% yesterday. It was great. I haven't actually personally back tested it. I bought oil stocks today. I did well. Um, it, it's, it's, it's a trader's tool. Uh, do you generate signals for buys or sells? Or for short side as well as long side? I, I have both gain, winners and losers. Um, higher highs and lower lows. They're, they are not necessarily signals at this point. I, I could answer your question later in, in more color. So other than subscribing and paying, how can we help? Uh, I, I'm currently looking for developers. I found some in Seattle. That's not ideal. Um, they, they're big game developers. Local developers that know this stack would be great. Um, investment opportunities that are local would be great. People in the fintech space, integrations, or other things would be awesome. Uh, two quick questions. One, what is your latency on these quotes or technical analyses? Mm -hmm. And two, do you have an API for accessing them? It's a real-time data stream. Uh, it, works as fast as my level two trading stream in terms of human consumption. I haven't compared uh, that data feed. It's not, there's no latency. I'm, I'm paying for the real time feed. There's options to get 15 second delayed, two minute delayed, 15 minute delayed. I have the real time option. So um, in that regard, it's as fast as, you know, I haven't me measured latency, jitter, or any of that stuff um, because it's mostly designed for consumption from a human device. Um, in terms of an API, it's, it's restful. Uh, it could be served up and offered for consumption. You know, I thought about bringing my son because he's actually at soccer practice right now, and I didn't realize I was going to be late, and I was going to have him stick, sit, stick him right there and say, hey, Dad, look at your dad. He's uh, standing up in front of a bunch of people talking about his app that he's been working on. But it didn't work out that way. Um, 
Can you talk a bit about your marketing plan? Because it sounds like you're just going with the average investor um, who's looking to capitalize on the market at an earlier point in time. But is there any scale operation for financial advisors? Or I'm not really sure uh, what that plan would be, but maybe right. you could talk about that. Um, there's, as we merge with the commission side of things, and I would get a commission for every trade that's made, that part of the business model would become more important versus the subscription side of things because a three, four, five dollar commission per trade, um, per trader, 